Hello, this is Dr. Lisa at Homic Advanced Chiropractic. You are watching Lesson 1 of Harness Your Habits, Transform Your Life. Welcome. If you didn't see the intro video, you can watch that as well because it coincides with our study guide and it gives you an introduction to why people want to transform their lives by harnessing their habits and it gives a little explanation of why we're going to focus on your good habits because that gives you more success rather than looking at the bad habits and berating yourself, criticizing yourself and failing. You just say, oh, I'm not going to do it, it's just too hard. We don't need to go there because the brain has a unique way of storing information and we're going to harness that and it's exciting. So if you have your study guide, we're at going to look at the section called Attitude and Action. We're going to talk about one, two, and three in this video. There's four, five, and six, which you and I can talk about in your next maintenance visit. At your next visit, we can fill in the blanks. We'll cover one through three now. Write notes. Get your brain thinking because this is how we're going to get started with harnessing our habits. You want to transform something in your life, something physical about your health, something mental about the way you deal with the world, the way you deal with people, you can transform that. And we're going to do it with these, these attitude uh, mantras, themes that we're going to talk about. Number one is own the passion to learn, keep feeding the fire of new learning. I hope that's a given and just the fact that you are trying to harness your habits, that you are, you, you get it, you understand that. You have to have the passion to learn. You have to own it. So who is like that? The people who can't stop reading. They're looking at books. They're looking at the next self-improvement book they can read. They're re listening to the news, watching the news, or watching what other people are doing in the world. What are other people doing? that they're succeeding at. What interesting things are people doing that makes the world go round? What's making the world a fun place to live in? That is the passion to learn. Where is your passion? Do you have a hobby? Are you learning something new? Do you have an instrument you like to play? Is there something you want to try that you've never tried before? And part of harnessing your habits is to free up your time so you can do something new because that's where the excitement is and introducing something new is going to grow new circuits in the brain and that is very useful to you. Own the passion to learn and if you don't think you have the passion to learn you can you can cult cultivate that as well so we can talk about that in your next visit if you f feel stuck if you don't think you have that passion or you just don't find anything interesting. Let's find something interesting because it's out there waiting for you. Feed the fire of new learning because that's what keeps the brain young. Let's go on to number two. Number two is be honest about your plate. You can only fit so much on it. Clear something off to add something new. So picture a plate full of food. You've been at a buffet. You put all your favorites. There isn't room for anything more, but there's some other foods at the end of the buffet table you'd like to try. Well, you've got to make a decision. You've got to clear something off to make room for something new. Don't eat it all. Don't overeat and fill up your plate. This is supposed to help you um, correlate it with your day and with your life. You can't do everything at once. Some things you have to save for later. You can't accomplish everything in a short period of time. You have to budget your time, and we have to understand what's on your plate. If it's crowded, some things have to be moved off. This is also a given to most people. You can't fit it all in. You have to just set some things aside. And families that are busy make their priorities, and some things they keep on their plate, some things they just don't do. And I think that's natural with everybody. But the plate has to be manageable. So we are going to learn how to rearrange things on our plate and make a judgment. Some things need to go. For example, 
if you're traveling, traveling a lot and you don't like it, that has to go. You clear that off your plate, you find on something else to replace it, something that's manageable. That's just an example I'm throwing out there. What else can we think of? You're in too many clubs. Your time is stretched too thin. You've got to quit some of those clubs. That's another idea. Um, sometimes people do not budget their time well. We are going to learn an exercise on page two that's going to help. So keep that study guide handy. Number three is plan ahead, know your weaknesses, and set up safety nets. The most successful people know when they are overextending themselves. They know when they are going to be tempted. Say they're at a party. All their favorite foods are there. All of the favorite foods that are full of sugar are there. They have to have a plan in place so they don't eat it. So they eat ahead of time. They bring their own food. They have substitutes. They pick something that they can eat. They know their weaknesses. People who can't get up on time, they have a plan in place to help them. Either 12 alarm clocks, so they all go off at different intervals, or they go to bed early. They just have a plan. You have to understand where you fail and how to overcome that. And not saying you have to be better, you just have to understand where are you weak and where are you strong? You have low energy after 3 o'clock. That's not the time to be studying. That's the time to be doing your laundry and cleaning your house. That's how you can prepare for your weaknesses. You think you're going to run out of money before the payday comes? You have a secret stash, a secret bank account, something that you can't break into and liquidate very easily. That is another safety net. Putting safety nets in place. A plan B. What do you have set aside to help you in case an emergency comes up or something totally throws you off your day? Know your weaknesses. Set aside something. A cushion. A time cushion. A money cushion. That way you can handle it because life is full of surprises. Embrace the unexpected and you're ready. be ready for it. And that's going to help you harness your habits. For the rest of this lesson, number four, number five, and number six, we will talk about that at your maintenance visit. They're very intriguing, so I'm going to save those. Just write down your questions about those. If you have any interesting insights, write it down before you forget it. And part of the success of people who harness their habits is they do set aside time to look at their day. How did their day go? Are they going to plan their day? Write it down. Do you, have, do you have things going on that you want to achieve and do you want to do them in a certain amount of time? Now, there's a way to look at that in a positive aspect and that's part of harnessing your habit. If you have, if you have a question, write that down. We're going to go over that. I can't wait to hear your responses because you're going to give me ideas as well. So I can't wait to see you. Um, when you when we reach the second part of we talk about the steps, we'll talk about that as well. That's where we're going to get our hands dirty. We're going to roll up our sleeves and this is where we're going to get bit busy. And that's going to be page two of your study guide. Hang on to it. It's going to be exciting. You're going to get that finished and things are going to fall into place. So thank you for watching the video. We'll talk more about harnessing your habits. In fact, we're going to talk about the different levels. There's three levels. Level one, we're pretty much going to cover on the videos. And level two and level three, they're going to delve into a deeper sense of what you can do when you've harnessed your habits and life is taking off with explosive excitement. We'll see you then. Thanks.